Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here, and today we have the final part of Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're going to be finishing off the, up the campaign and ending the rebellion here. So Yavin 4, Vader's uh, fist strikes back. The rebels must not escape our retribution. Strike them out, out of the sky. So let's do it. Base battle. When the Death Star was destroyed, about half of the 501st Legion was still in the hangar getting into their ships. Of those who made it out, another third were caught in the explosion. I'd fought with some of those men for over 20 years. Afterwards, those of us that survived hooked up with a nearby Imperial fleet making a retaliatory strike on the Rebels' base on Yevon 4. It wasn't the best thought out plan, but we were cut off from our leaders, tired and operating on instinct. If not for our training, we probably would have never gotten past their orbital defenses. So this is um, this is something that you don't really hear that much about in the um, uh, in the Star Wars lore. But the Battle of Yavin wasn't just a battle of the. The heavy transports are trying to go around us. Destroy them before they can jump to hyperspace. When most people think of the Battle of Yavin, they think of the Death Star getting blown up. But that's really the first part of the battle. After the Death Star had gotten uh, blown up, the rebels were actually evacuating Yavin, and so the Empire still knew where they were. And there was like a big space battle, but the rebels managed to break through and escape. Okay. Okay, there we go. First transport destroyed. Second transport, okay. Rebels are attempting to send their forces off to wreak havoc in other parts of our galaxy. Destroy them. Ask for reinforcements. Got them all. Nice. Arresting our fighters. Show them no mercy. Okay, now destroying the frigates next. We don't got a lot of tickets for this too, so we gotta be careful. Okay, go underneath this now. Nice. Pilots, if they are allowed to make the jump to hyperspace, they'll rip right through us. Clear their fighters out and be quick about it. We haven't any time to spare. Destroy ten enemy fighters, okay. The bombers the bomber's gun on here is is very powerful, but it's yet you have to be very precise with it, too. Switch to a regular TIE Fighter. Probably not fly directly over their capital ships. Probably not a good idea. Damn it. 
damn. Auto turret got me. Yeah, those those turrets are just just um, on elite difficulty. Those turrets will just murder you. Try an interceptor. Okay, uh, that, that took me down pretty quickly there. Okay, one more fighter left. Ties are extremely vulnerable because their uh, their sides, their wings, can easily be clipped. Underneath the ship, you'd think that that'd be a smart place to put some guns underneath the ship, but they don't have any underneath the ship. Okay, and our frigates are moving up on them, too. It's done. Stop the alliance from jumping at light speed by destroying their engines. Okay.
Damn, this, this space battle has a lot of steps to it, too. Okay, all the engines are almost done. Nice and really good in that space battle. And so the battle over Yevon came to an end. I'm told we destroyed hundreds of rebel ships that day. Even if it had been thousands, it wouldn't have made up for the Death Star. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, here we go. Yavin 4, Revenge of the Empire, their bases are ripe for the taking, Death Star's destruction will be repaid in blood. Death Star had been replaced by anger. For months we treated the rebellion like a disobedient child, only to be repaid for our tolerance with treachery on an unimaginable scale. Frankly, I don't remember much of the fighting. I guess we won. Okay, you all know the mission. The rebel base is located in that ancient temple over there. Our first job is to take the rebel command post located in the ruins of that stone fountain just ahead. So yeah, take the tank, just basically prevent them all from uh, going towards the post. Got it now. Our next objective is to capture the command post under the viaduct. Gather your forces. It'll be a tough slog. No. Ooh, yeah. My health ran low and a bad feeling already about that point. Explosions, look at this right now. Watch your sides, they're all over. They're all over. Got it. Now 
crush the reflecting pool. It will make a good staging area for the assault of the temple. Got it. Rebel counterattack could start at any second. Defend the reflecting pool with all your might. Damn. I couldn't hold it there. Uh, okay. What the? Oh. Great. Stairs vanished and uh... I forgot about this, that on Yavin that these, these turrets are so tall. Can't use the uh Ah oh, damn. Okay. The tank, okay. the place where they actually plotted the uh, the rebels plotted the Death Star's attack. Um, okay. Okay, get away from it's gonna blow. Crap. It's all rocket troops in here too. That's ridiculous, yep, yeah, okay.
Oh, damn, only one rebel le leader left, too. Got him. Is ours, man. The spirits of our fallen brothers will sleep soundly tonight. This is this is where the Death Star, um, uh, the battle of the attack on the Death Star is planned from here. After the battle, the surviving members of the 501st finally caught their breath. The Empire had taken the rebels' best shot and come up standing. Now, it was our turn to strike. 51 kills. Okay, Hoff. Our finest hour. The rebel outpost has been discovered and will be destroyed. Galactic pieces at hand. So this is the final mission, the Battle of Hoff. Let's do it. No one ever complained about the cold on Hoth. We never felt it. Even though we were blinded by blizzards, we could see the final end of the rebellion in our blaster sights. Was it only a mirage, perhaps? But on that day, on that planet, our blood ran hot with dreams of victory, melting the ice that stood in our way. Okay, snow troopers, yeah. the shield generator in preparation for Lord Vader's arrival. Next, focus all efforts on preventing the final transport ship from lifting off. We'll begin by taking over their outlook command post. Move out. The Battle of Hoth is probably the Rebellion's biggest defeat ever, and what I'll say about the Battle of Hoth is that the, uh, uh, the, one of the reasons that the, uh, ooh, yeah, Take transport taken off there. One of the reasons that the rebels uh, uh, had such a disaster at Hoth was because General Veers was commanding. Now, General Veers is actually one of the best generals in the Imperial Army, one of the best Imperial commanders. Um, I would say behind Fraun, one of the most competent. He's the guy in the AT-AT that you see at the beginning of the episode 5. Um, he's telling, you know, Lord Vader that the shield generator will be down soon. Um, you know, that guy. And he tells him, you know, maximum firepower on the shield generator. Veers was a, um, you know, fearless commander. Um, I think his AT-AT -AT got destroyed, but he ended up surviving. And in the, the new canon, he doesn't come back, but in Legends, he did. In Legends, he ended up serving the Imperial Remnants for years until he died. Wow, oh, this is just a... Easy way to destroy these. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's take the post then. Got you. Try to capture their forward bunker. Okay, let's do it. I should probably have used it, the walkers for this.
Yeah, I should have used the walkers. Okay. Blow up those turrets. Clear them out. Oh, okay. Yeah, see how overpowered the ATAT -AT is? Yeah, Hoff is such a great map for snipers, too. Oh, crap. Crap. Didn't even see him. If you actually watch in the background of episode 5, you can actually see ATSDs. A lot of people think they appeared first time in episode 6. No, they appeared first time in episode 5. So uh, you can actually... If you look very carefully, you can actually see them in episode 5 at the Battle of Hoff. Okay, I forgot this tunnel is collapsed in this mission here. What? No, come on. Oh man, I hate when that happens. I literally just got quick scoped. Man, those rebel snipers. Probably should get in there now. I can't, I can't. walker as much as we can pushing up on them the walkers done too
crap, snipers. Die, okay, ooh. That was close. Okay, we're gonna need to bring the walker all the way up to the shield generator. It shouldn't be too hard. But well, it's gonna take a little bit of time. Get the rebel. I want those rebels dead. Uh, yeah, probably use the AT. The AT AT would be better to destroy the. Oh, I can hit it from here, okay. Almost got you. Capture Echo Base. Okay, and I think after you capture Echo Base, I think that's when Darth Vader shows up. Oh, I don't get sniped. Oh, let me get in. It's our guys over there. Probably better just to push straight to the hangar through the snow because if you if you go through the uh, the tunnels, there's gonna be so much close quarter fighting there, and it's gonna be a pain. No, yeah. I knew I was gonna get sniped there, okay. Oh, we got a new command post, okay. Am I gonna clear this out? such a pain to clear out.
damn, I'm trying my best, and they just keep respawning. There's just too many of them. It's a Django Fetz pistol, I think, that, that you get if you, uh, get enough kills. as Vader. It rest of this should be pretty easy now. This is a new part of the Hoth map, because in the original Battlefront it wasn't here, but in the in Battlefront 2, uh, 2005, they added this part in. Oh wow, yeah, that's a lot of guys. Damn, I hate when teammates get in the way like that, okay. Oh crap. Okay, was hoping I could play for Vader for a little bit longer, but... If you notice the Millennium Falcon isn't there, it's because, um, I have streamer mode on, so that, um, I don't get a copyright claim for it. But, uh, but it shows you a movie scene of the fa Falcon, basically, flying away. I'm so close. They're us. Oh, come on! Damn, we're so close with the beacon. This is the final part.
these snipers, the, the aimbot is just so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut these guys down. This there's just too many of them. Stupid snipers. They're so annoying. Oh no, it's all the way back there again to respond. Ugh. Okay. The rocket troopers, these guys have the most health, so I'm gonna use them to. It's just... Yes. Oh, great, now I'm gonna defend this too. From this. No! The grenades that they're throwing are ridiculous right now, okay. Get time to get out of here. There we go, we won. Ooh. Yeah, that, that final part with that beacon is just so rough. But that's the final mission. As the rebels fled, the 501st gathered around a burning bunker and let out a cheer that shook the stars. The rebellion was done. The Death Star was being rebuilt bigger than ever. Order had finally returned to the galaxy. In no small part due to the efforts of the fighting men of the 501st. I killed 175 people. Wow. Ugh. Well, yeah, a lot of guys that I killed in that. Um, but yeah, that is that is pretty much it. That is the 
final part of the campaign and it is um it is over there but yeah that campaign what i'll say about it is i enjoyed that campaign way more than the campaign in uh, battlefront 2017 the inversio campaign i never really enjoyed that campaign i liked the start of it but then it started sucking like when she just decided to switch sides go over to the rebels help the rebels now all of a sudden we're the bad guys we're gonna help the good guys now i never liked that plot so uh yeah this is um i remember this game played this game when i was a kid um this was the um these last few parts have been playing the classic collection because I wanted to play it through my PlayStation controller personally because I had a little bit of a hard time with the gamepad on the PC version of Battlefront. But uh, yeah, they the classic collection, they fixed some of the glitches and they have added the uh, the 504 sending cutscenes. There are still some problems. I have had some disconnection issues when I played the multiplayer, but it's getting at least a bit better. Um, so that's pretty much it for the campaign. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this campaign. Have you ever seen this campaign before? Um, if you guys did enjoy this campaign, do drop a like. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this series. Hope you guys liked my cosplay, my clone trooper, my Imperial officer cosplay. I might play another Star Wars game in the future with this cosplay called Star Wars Empire at War. I've actually never played that game, but I've had some people asking me to play. Can you play Empire at War? So I might play that one in the future. It's another Empire game where you play, but it's more of a strategy game too. So thank you guys for, uh, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this. If you did, you drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.